Hello everybody, today I want to show you how to do some flour dusting. Now if you're not sure what I'm on about, I'll just show you. It's where we take a bit of flour and we dust the surface of the table with the flour nice and evenly, ready for whatever we're going to do, some shaping, some moulding, some stretch and folds, whatever it is. This is a really, really cool tip to, to know. And look, to be fair, you could use a, a sieve and drop it through. You could do little blobs like that. I mean, if you're having blobs like that, then you're wasting flour. Um, you're using too much. You're gonna end up with it um, lumps, it's going to go in the dough, so that's bad for the dough, bad for your money. Uh, using a sieve, you know, you can do that, but it's, you know, if you're making more than one loaf at a time, it's going to be just less economic, really, uh, in terms of your time. It's just a faffing about, then you've got to wash it up or whatever afterwards, so just a bit of a pain. So, learning how to flour dust is really good, really efficient, uh, and it does look pretty good as well when you're doing it. So, let's show you. So, basically, we're going to take a uh, handful little pinch or a generous pinch of flour to put in our hands. Um, then we cut them like that, put our thumb, some between the first and the second finger, wherever it kind of feels comfortable. Then we pull our hand back, and then as we push it forward, and this is the bit where it's hard to kind of show you on a video, but you kind of feel it yourself, um, you push it that direction, but then you also open your hands up a little bit, okay? And what you'll notice is it may come in different places than you're expected. It may work first time, but let's just have a look. So basically we're pushing it forward like that. And what we wanna do is let the flower out through every gap in our hands, okay? So it should, a little bit should come out there, a little bit come out there, a little bit there, maybe a tiny bit out of there. So what you wanna be doing is when you're practicing is you can feel this coming through your fingers and you'll be able to see it as well. So you might notice, for example, this time, it's all come out of this gap here. So we've kind of got a nice sort of spread, but it's all kind of mainly gone in one place. So next week we change our angle a little bit. We open up a little gap there and there, and we try and get it right so it goes through all the gaps in our fingers. And it comes at a nice rate as well. So that's really it, really. The more you can do to practice, the better. You just keep going at it. So through like that. You don't want too much either because that can just get stuck in your hand. So good, you know, pitch a bit like that, it's fine. And then you get to use the muscles in your hand. So sometimes you can throw it like that and actually that can actually do a finer one. Whereas when you're doing a fuller one, you kind of do it a bit more gently because you have more action. You want to do it all in one go. You want to release everything from your hand in the same time. Whereas if you're doing shorter ones like that, you can actually keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it until maybe after five or six goes, then the flour goes. So, that's how to flour dust. What we can also do now is how to clean the table. So, really, really important tip, which doesn't really get taught anywhere, but as this video is really, really short, and I've made a mess, I'm gonna just show you how to do it the best way. So, using a metal scraper, we can scrape all the flour into our pot. the table okay and, and I might be a little bit more thorough if I wasn't on my own uh, and not with you guys uh, and then afterwards we get a tea towel or a bit of kitchen roll and we just wipe everything off nice and dry it's best not to add water till this stage so now if you've got bits on here that are stuck you can now get your metal scraper back out again. Give it a good old <laughs> good rub, okay? Then, if that still won't come off, then you get a uh, hot soapy water with um, hopefully just like a disposable dishcloth, and then you can scrub it with that. If you really can't get it off then, then try the hot water and your metal scraper. And last, last resort is to get your, uh, get your scouring pad out um, and then clean it with that. Now the reason the last was, that's the last resort is because they just fill up with the dough and that, and then you end up having to throw them out after like using them once. Um, so you know it can be quite wasteful, especially with the environment and that these days that we worry about. Um, yeah, really, rather not do that. And also another thing is in, when we're not just flour dusting on a clean table, then we need to do something with the um, flour. It's you know we're going to have lumps of 
dough and we're going to have thick bits, dry bits and all that sort of thing. So what I do is I use this little tub here at the side of the table, scrape all everything in there like that. So some of it will be just flour, a bit of semolina maybe, a bit of wholemeal flour, whatever. Um, and then once this gets full or once a week or whatever, then I just pass it through a sieve and keep all the fine bits, that's the stuff that we're going to use, but all the thick bits, all the clumps or whatever, they can go in the bin. And then I've got another tub of just dusting flour that I can use whenever I want, um, just on the table for bannertons or whatever, whatever I need it for. And it's just another way of just not wasting stuff and putting more stuff in the bin. So I hope you've learned how to flour dust from the video. Give us a comment below if you want any more help with it, and I hope to see you soon.